Whoa. Big small mouth. Whoa. Look at that. So, it's May, and usually the month of May, I spend a lot of time on the rivers, smallmouth. I'm up in the, um, I'm in the Little Pigeon River, West Prong in Sevierville, Tennessee. I couldn't really find a kayak shuttle. I called bait shops, I called outdoor places. Nobody knew of anybody that would run, run shuttles uh, anywhere up on this river. I ended up having to get a campsite just so that I have a place that's safe to pull my kayak out at the end. So I'm, you know, Uber or taxi on up and get my car. So I don't leave it somewhere like on the side of the road or under a bridge where somebody can steal it. I don't really need a campground. I just need a place to pull my kayak out. I mean, that's about it. I, I, I stopped at Bass Pro Shops this morning on the way here, went cut through down through Charlotte or Concord. And I'm gonna find a place to eat and have a couple beers. TJ Friday's right there, and there's this other place right here. I don't. It's called Quaker Steak and Lube, and they got wings, and they got lube. I don't know what that's about. I'm scoping out where I'm gonna put in, but right here's a great place. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. Just a big old parking lot on the side of the river. <laughs> So I found this like really nice little quiet down here by the river place to sleep and then they're like, oh, I got that. Got that going on. The cops just showed up. It's only, it's nine o'clock. But I'm gonna be going to bed here in a little while and I hope that doesn't go on all night. You know what I mean? But apparently they have a lot of this kind of stuff. These car shows, truck shows. This is obviously a pickup truck show. But anyway, I've got to, um, I've got to get my kayak ready. Loud and obnoxious. Uh, go home, truck guys. Cops ran them off. Now they're starting to come back. Listen, I don't care. We can all share this together. I want to sleep. You know, I want to be able to sleep. You know what I mean? I think I am ready to go to bed. That's a bridge that goes over the river. The river's right underneath that, that bridge there. And that's where we're gonna load in. And uh, it should be easy. Should be a good day. So as you can see, the sun is coming up. It's getting light. And uh, we're gonna get in this thing in the water. This is gonna be probably our most productive time is the mornings. You wanna make best use of it. Drop the canoe off, drag it down in the water and go. Ow, that was my foot. All right, let me go park the car. I'm gonna park over here. I think. Good enough. Thank you, TJI Friday. Even though your food, pretty bad. Let's go get some smallmouth. Oh yeah. I mean, this is about the perfect time. You don't want to get in where you can't see, especially on a river you don't know that doesn't have a lot of water. We're off. Let's go on down. Let's find something that looks a little better. Obviously, it's a little bit dark still. May not look like it on the GoPro because of the auto exposure. Kind of hard to tell depths, but as the sun's kind of come up and get light pretty quick on us, I'm going to be able to figure all that out. There was a dam up here that dropped about 15 feet that has been torn down apparently there's a lot of rebar and concrete and stuff so it was advised I don't go through there stay left he said if you just stay left generally you should be fine I'm gonna listen to the people that know pretty shallow pretty freaking shallow dude Go. 
one big one, but not a big one, but one. All right, whatever. I don't know, man. This is apparently where the dam was was uh, was torn down. I'm having a lot of luck. Well, is what it is. Beautiful though. God, temperatures like for a human being, temperatures perfect. We're gonna fish this. I have a feeling, just a hunch. I'm gonna catch a fish in here. Yeah, you know, you'd think like, well, it's a bluff wall. Yeah, well, there's no water. I think the best thing for me to do is get out of here. Oh my God, I can't see anything. I am completely blinded. All right, so I just, uh, my battery died and I was like, oh, I'll change it when I stop up here somewhere and I got preoccupied. And I was just, this little small square bill and I was just uh, retrieving it down through this water here. So finally found some water, forgot the battery and what did I do? I catch like a 20 inch rainbow trout on this. And I was like trying to hold it and get my phone and it jumped off the hook and got away so oh well but i wish i got that on camera that'd been cool now we're in some some depth here something muddied this water up oh that was a big smallmouth right there well that was promising oh i don't know what that was feels like fish are turning on all of a sudden maybe they they sleep in around here. Not catching a lot of fish today. One smallmouth, one rainbow. It's, it's a beautiful day. I'm floating down the river. Um, there we go. There we go. Now we got a fish. Whoa. And uh, it doesn't hurt to catch a few while you're at it, you know? Healthy, vigorous, little smallmouth bass. Ever since that creek came in, dingied it up a little bit. And I think that also might be helping from the fish being way too spooked. I feel like it's gonna be a fish right here somewhere. Somewhere in the spot. Nice. Oh yeah. That is not a small fish. So let's just stay on there. Nice fish, come on. Oh, mother God, don't shut up. Yeah. Okay, therapy. Oh, man. <sighs> so much for therapy. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it out. The fish are, are turned on. There's another one. Another one. Oh. Oh. Not as big, but it not it's not a bad one for sure. Not a, not a bad one. Er 
urban fishing. Well, city limits fishing for sure. Oh, I don't know what it was or what it is. Oh, it's a bluegill. Buddy, that's about, it's about as big as you. And yet you got hooked better than most of the smallmouth for some reason I catch. Big smallies right there. But these are, um, these are probably spawning grounds. Kayak. What's that? Where'd you get that kayak? Um, oh, I bought it used about 10 years ago. Really? I'm looking for something like that. Well, there's a lot of them out there on the market now. When it drops off. You know, yeah, when you go under this bridge here, it drops off about that far. You're, you're going to be fishing or just well, kayaking? Well, hunting, but possibly for fishing and a couple other things. Sit in it, make sure it's a nice, a comfortable seat. It's like really important to have a little storage place right in front of you, comfortable seat. I'll be in the seat for nine ten hours i mean comfort's everything especially if you're gonna be in there for a while yeah nice meeting you i guess this is passable how you doing this is not what i want to fish i'm getting hungry That was definitely a bite. Something's nibbling on it. Oh, that was a big fish. I just saw him. Oh, I just saw a big dark shadow just take off. Bang. Big smallmouth. Like big. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Another one, little one. Up, let go. There's a big one right there. Look at that, you can see him right there, big. There we go. What's that? I am. 
<laughs> Didn't take my claw, but I got a biter over here. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Yeah, there's something little, because something big is just going to demolish it. So now comes um, a bit of a dilemma. I got to pee, and there's like no privacy here. See him right there? Just right next to him. Not that big. If I don't catch anything the rest of the day, I'm happy. I mean, that's just where I'm at. I'm like, it's already fulfilling. I can just enjoy the float. I need to stop, put some things away. I've got an absolute mess. But I gotta pee, like, pretty bad. Man, a nice big old gravel sandbar would be pretty awesome right now. Big old sandbar. Taking a break. Need to reorganize the kayak. I got stuff laying everywhere. So I started out this morning. There was a lot of trees, obviously still some elevation coming down. Lost a pretty big one up there. And then I got down and it kind of got to where it was almost like flats. Finally got into some deep pools and I saw that I started seeing fish and I started seeing activity. So I switched to a uh, Bitsy Bug jig. I nibbled a little bit and I said, let me, let me do something a little more compact. It's kind of like using a Ned Rig a little bit. It's an EWG with a ball jig head on there. 1 16th ounce, so it's not too, too heavy. I'm um, still getting snagged a little bit, but for the most part, I'm getting unhooked just because, you know, it gets pinched between rocks, but it's not the hook it's doing, it's just, it's, it's getting wedged. But they're all over the place spawning, and then they're, they're gathering in some of these big deep pools. Let me get it uh, organized, and uh, we'll get back on the water. Give me some food, man. I'm getting hangry, man. I get the feeling that fishing's gonna slow down. Big gars. I saw something like on top of the water. I was like, what the hell is that? I didn't know there were gar in here. I'm seeing fish in here, but they don't seem to want to have anything to do with bait. The crew is in for chicks, man. This might be the other fork of the river coming in. It just got big. Yeah, that's a big carp or something right there. I don't know what that is, but that's a smallmouth. It's a giant. Oh! They're in here. Is it is it easy to drag it out up the bank and everything? Really? Well, I'll keep that in mind next time. You having any luck? Smallies? Well, thanks, man. I appreciate the uh, info on that. I'll remember that next time. Yeah, man. Good luck. Big smallmouth right there. See him? Starting to see big smallies in here. Then that's what they're doing. They're coming up and they're to spawn. And they're just not, not really biting right now. This thing has slowed, which is uh, to be expected. It's warm today, it's sunny. There's fish, what is that? Big smallmouth, look at the size of that smallmouth. Gigantic, look at the size of that thing. Get him in the mouth. Not what I'm going for, not what I want. Little 
Molly. <laughs> really little Smalley. It's a Smalley Smalley. Wow, I got some sun. Look at that. Um, so I'm out of the water. You know what? This town is absolutely nuts. Today's Friday, coming into the weekend. Today's worse than yesterday. It's hard to even get around driving. There's so many people here. All these tourist attractions here. It's an it's a nut house. Not not my kind of. And it was really expensive to take the cab. But I would, you know, if this was like a regular town with a kind of a regular flow of traffic and people and what's going on, it's it's insane. I, I doubt I'm even gonna be able to get a cab tomorrow to even get back to my car. That's how crazy it is. I had a good time. You know, might I come back here when it's a little cooler? Maybe in like in April, early April or something when it gets a little, a little chilly for some people. I'm gonna head back home. And I think I'm going next weekend again. Uh, maybe maybe the, I don't know where we're going to go. Maybe the New River again with my buddy Dan. Yeah, I'm going to head on down the road. I got to get something to eat. I haven't, I haven't eaten in almost 24 hours. Whatever it was, dinner last night. And it's, it's 5.13 now. So 22 hours. I haven't, I haven't eaten a bite. It was sure fun. I can tell you that.